Hey guys, I'm Arunav. So WWDC 16 gave us a sneak peek to iOS 10. So here are the best features we know so far. Number one is raise to wake. As the name suggests, you can just pick up your iPhone and the screen turns on with notifications. This is done so because sometimes when we unlock the device, the fingerprint sensor can be too fast and we can miss our notifications. Now, after unlocking the phone, we see our notifications. And one of the biggest change in iOS 10 is notifications are more interactive, more descriptive. Like if we get a message, we can reply from the lock screen itself. And the same goes for other widgets. Apple has been focusing to be more open source and with that we come to Siri. Now Siri what had become a very fun part of the iOS has now got some features with the ability to link itself with third party apps. So you can command Siri to request a cab from Uber and it will do that. Continuing with the trend of open source, we are now getting over the calling feature of iPhone because that's what they were made for in case you don't remember. Now iOS supports वो IP calling with apps like WeChat or Hangouts. Now what it will do is natively support them. In other words, these apps are going to run better than ever. The other big news is that we can now delete the Apple apps which we don't need, like this or this. This announcement wasn't made on WWDC, but thanks to some tech YouTubers, we got to know this. The biggest things that was shown off at WWDC was iMessage. Apple made sure that they make this app up to date with other competing apps. So now you can handwrite your message, which is it going to be for me? Emojis are bigger. You can control the way bubbles are sent out. There are stickers. You can also send some personalized messages in various ways. Another feature that was shown is that now whenever we write a message. The iMessage app will read the text and suggest emojis in place of some words. So, good luck to everyone on passing that English exam. Apple also launched HomeKit, which will make smart home devices more centralized and easily accessible. Also, you will now be able to buy things using your Apple Pay ID. So guys, these are what in my perspective the best features of iOS 10. Let me know down below what you think of this update. I'm Arunab and this is Neolithic. See you next time.